What a very nice win by the filly, Pippi Lunko. She was number six here, and she notches up her second win now from 13 starts, giving Jock Keegan DeMello his third winner on the card. Keegan, well done. Thank you very much, Mr. Yeah, you've had a very good day. Opened up the meeting as well, didn't you? Yeah, I opened it with the first two. I'm just really yeah. grateful for the support I get here in the Cape and uh, to Mr. Reeves and his family, big supporters of mine. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, just really happy to repay them with winners. Now, this filly is, is pretty easy to predict. You know what you're going to do with her every time. Yeah, look, she's pretty straightforward. She comes out this gates like a bullet. And, uh, yeah, today when I saw them right on top of me, I thought uh, they might be using too much gas to try to keep up with her. And, uh, yeah, she just managed to skip away at about 300 and uh, just maintain her run today. So just full credit to Mr. Reeves and his team. And, obviously, MJ Badafelt, uh, he's... Uh, uh, Mr. Reeves says he obviously um, suggests the tongue toss, a great um, team effort from everyone, and I'm just really grateful to be here. Well, well done to you. Super day. Once again, to Mr. Reeves and his family, thank you very much, and to Mr. Stroy as well, thank you very much. Well done. Keep thank you. you. Paul Reeves trains the Phillies coming across. Paul, well done. Thank you, Mr. Lee. You know, on the one hand, uh, it looked difficult taking on the Colts, but on the other hand, she did seem overdue for another win. Yeah, no, look, um, she's definitely overdue. Um, you know, we've got all these little... These little things we've been trying with her and things like that, because she's impossible to work at home. I mean, yeah, they, you know, if there was still a concrete fence at the end of the track, we would <laughs> we've gone through it a few times. <laughs> but um, she 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 doesn't. She's not easy to ride at work. Uh, the guys really battle to hold her, and uh, she just knows one speed, you know. But look, y you know, Mr. Ellie, it I've never been scared to take on the boys with uh, with with fast fillies because, y you know, bottom line is they've got to run from point A to point B in a certain time. Mm -hmm. Um, the Colts don't do it much faster than the Phillies. The Phillies get the allowance, so it, it's a it's a win for all. So it's just a, you know with with these lack of races in Cape Town, we, we've got to we've got to do what we've got to do. But um, uh, I was all obviously a little bit worried taking on the boys, but um, and the, yeah, they are a little bit faster. You know, those horses like Firewalk and that they're quick horses. You know, so I was a little concerned, but. Um, yeah, she, she came through it today and she actually I think she finished off the race better, but uh, the best she has so far. Yeah, you, you actually took the words out of my mouth. She ran on and that last for a long better than what we used to see. Yeah, you, you know, all credit to everybody who's ridden her. You know, they've done nothing wrong with her. It's yeah. just that today happened to be Keegan's day with her. Um, yeah, and, and again, thanks again to, to MJ because he did say that uh, tongue tie should help her, you know, and uh, last time was a good second and they only collared her the last 20 strides. Um, 20 meters rather um, and today she just kept through with it you know but um, thank you so much to Mr. Stu for his support and um, yeah <laughs> my wife's in my ear <laughs> um, yeah yeah and well done to Mr. Stu you know um, he's been patient with her and um, and uh, I'm trying to get him to give me a chance to take her to Durban for the poly track so um, I, I think hopefully now he'll, he'll listen to me um, and um, and also to my daughter um, Claudia, it's his, her birthday today, so uh, she's, she may, I'm having supper with her later on, so if I don't mention her, she's gonna di I'm dying. But uh, <laughs> thank you so much uh, to Mr. Strew again and, and to the Re whole Reeves team. Well done to you. Many reasons to celebrate tonight. Thank you so much. Well done. Okay, there we go. Paul Reeves ends the day in style with his filly Pippi Lankos. And as I said earlier, it did seem like a well-deserved and overdue win for her. That's it from Kennel Earth Racing for this afternoon. It's been fun. Results haven't been all that bad. In fact, they've been quite predictable. So until next week, good night from all of us.